let's talk about biasing the Schottky diode. So if I had, but let's first review by a PN junction. So if I have a PN junction, here's my P side, here's my N side. This corresponds to reverse bias. This corresponds to forward bias. Now, in order to bias a Schottky diode in reverse or forward bias, all we're going to do is we're going to have the same kind of structure, but we're going to replace this P side in both cases uh, with our metal. Okay, so this is what the uh, reverse bias will look like on an N type Schottky diode. The uh, more positive potential is on the semiconductor side, the N type semiconductor side, and the opposite for forward bias. So in the forward bias, the uh, positive potential or the higher potential is going to be on the metal side now. So you can imagine, or I'm sure you'll be able to guess that in forward bias, we're going to have some current going through our diode this way. In reverse bias, we will have some current going through the dial in the opposite direction and of course uh, let's call this um, I sub F for I forward and I sub R for I reverse as with the PN junction dial the magnitude of that uh, reverse bias current is much much less than the amount of current that you would get through the uh, Schottky diode under forward bias. These are what the energy band diagrams look like. So you're doing the same kind of thing as a PN junction, just that now you have a metal here. Okay, so here is our, our band diagram on the left for reverse bias Schottky diode. We still offset the Fermi levels. Here's the Fermi level in the metal. Here's the Fermi level in the semiconductor. And they're offset by an amount that's equal to that reverse bias voltage. Just like the, the PN junction. Uh, you also notice here that the, the width of the depletion region region is also increasing. Now in forward bias we're offsetting the Fermi levels but in the other direction. So this offset is equal to the amount of forward bias voltage. We lower the potential barrier in the conduction band so that is uh, VBI minus the, the forward bias voltage. Since I lowered that potential barrier, I can get electrons, more electrons, to move over that potential barrier. So if I have electrons moving from the semiconductor to the metal, that corresponds to a current in the opposite direction. So in forward bias I should have a current pointing from the metal side to the semiconductor side and if we go back to our diagram up here that's exactly the way that we drew the direction of current uh, on the previous slide. 